Hello again, Mission Control. We're continuing our build of the, uh, what are we calling it? Cube, the fridge, the refrigerator cube, the refrigeration unit, the transportation unit. Anyway, uh, we're working on it still, and what I need to do now is build the doors. So, these pieces here, they're gonna go together and form a door, like a soul. It'll fit just nicely right up into there and we also have to do that on the back side back here we'll have a flip-up door uh, for this would be the main area where we put everything uh, so to, to build them we're gonna just keep using our little uh, connector cubes here uh, put them all together it's pretty simple See if I can't mess it up here on camera. So, in here, let's choose one. Right. Okay. Bone goes on the inside. Just these little ears right on the end have to be bent in just a little bit. And it seats on there real nice. This one out. Go. One door. Now some of these, when you put them in, they're made just a little big on purpose so that they trim off. So I'm going to have to go probably take the X-Acto knife around and trim these all up. But my math was right. Oh, boy, oh boy. A little tight. We like tight. Tight is good. Not too tight, though. Looks like it. just a little bit of excess stuff here otherwise looks like my measurements were good always a challenge with me there we go there's one door so we got hinges I, I bought with this as well so we need to get those hinges do some trimming here make sure everything's good all in all though that's nice so that's gonna let's see if I can get it to stay in spot there we go. It's going to open up like that. Good stuff. Let's build the back door. Okay, so let's see inside. 
fit is good and vertical fit is good. Sweet! Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. I just got to find the hinges and figure out how to put them all on. We got us a door. It's on hinges. I got two more hinges to put on here, make it strong enough. It's gonna be nice. I totally forgot to put the diamond plate on this door. Uh, I forgot it had to go on first. I mean, I designed it all, but I forgot how to put it all together, how to put together my head. So now, uh, I gotta redrill these holes. I got this uh, bolted on off camera. And I'm just hoping I can hit the holes I already drilled. That's the hope here. And I did. Woo! All right. That's nice. One out of four done. And put this on. There we go. It's looking nice. Ooh, it's sexy nice. Here we go. One door. A little tight. Might have to do a little bit of chain in there, but better be a tight door than loose. It's got a seal, so. Oh, and we got some gunk in there. Okay, so yeah, we got some cleaning out to do. Oh no, that turned out nice. Very nice. One door down. All right, just got done with the back door. Got my latch in. Put latches on the side door as well. Everything comes out real nice. I think a little bit of silicone lube down on the lower and upper shelves will really help keep the uh, aluminum a little bit, or the door a little bit more smooth when it closes. Uh, uh, my level was definitely off. I was eyeballing everything and you can tell it uh, when I put the uh, hinges on and this. And the reason they're off is because I was coming in from the top instead of straight at it. So that's a stupid mistake on my part, but it is what it is now. Uh, really come together nicely. Got both doors on. Let's see if I can get you an angle of the other door here as well. Other door. Got its latch on. 
There we go. That's real nice. So you'll be able to access this door from the driver's side passenger door. And that one, of course, you'll have to open the hatch in the back. And then close it and lock it so that won't pop out when you're driving. Well, it won't pop out anyway because you have the door shut. And this one here. There we go. So, uh, my next step, whoa, you can't see me. My next step is to actually cut some styrofoam that I have and see if I can get it to work without having to buy a new styrofoam. So I'm going to do that in my next video for you. Uh, just, we got the doors on it. We still have the metal piece to put up front. Uh, I'm going to wait until I go put this actually in the vehicle, do a fit check, because I'm a little worried about this one section right here. It might need to be dented down a little bit due to a contour in the vehicle that's a little non-square. Uh, there's a DVD player there, and I think I measured it correctly. I measured it a few times, but I'm a little worried that it might need a slight bend in it. So uh, I'm going to wait on that particular piece there have to do some special trimming. Uh, but coming together nicely, and still need to do the fit check on the air conditioner. It's going to go here. Uh, and might have to trim that a little bit, but if the dimensions that they gave me online are correct, then this should be uh, about a half inch on each side uh, short, I mean wider than the unit itself. So we'll see how that all goes. Uh, that's it for this video. Just a quick one, putting up the doors. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's coming together nicely. Um, get the air, check out the foam, get the air conditioner in, put the cool bot in, do the fit check, not in that order, fit check first, and then all those other things. And then uh, this thing's getting closer and closer to prime time. So thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hey. And uh, you can also hit subscribe so that I get notified when we uh, put up new videos. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, this is The Real Martian. Out.